meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Big difference out there this morning. We do have mainly cloudy skies over Providence, but it's warm compared to yesterday. There's a couple of light showers, sprinkles racing across the Mass Pike, a few of them stretching down as far south as Hartford. These are moving generally to the east northeast. Most of them will miss us. But we'll keep an eye for our northern communities. It could get clipped with a couple of raindrops. The bigger batch of rain still well off to our west over the Ohio Valley and then down through the deep south. Where we've had this impressive squall line of severe weather. This has been a storm that's had a history of producing tornadoes. As we watch this whole front move eastward, it's a slow progress. So we'll start with the more widespread rainfall by early tomorrow morning before dawn, and it won't taper off until we get into Saturday. So starting off Saturday morning, a little bit stormy. We're looking at 55 degrees right now. Temperatures in Smithfield and in Cumberland staying in the 50s all night long, so you don't need to worry about scraping any frost off the windshield. It's a warm morning in Westerly, almost to 60, and Oakland Beach and Warwick running at 57 degrees. There's a boundary, a cold front sitting over central New England right now. We stay on the warm side of the front all day today and through the night tonight through tomorrow as well. To the north, there'll be a totally different day. Even some of the northern communities in Boston will be cloudy, cool, and off and on rain and drizzle. But locally, I do expect us to stay mostly dry today. The rain from this next system coming in after midnight tonight ends by Saturday afternoon. We're looking at one to three inches of rainfall winds. Well, they'll be out of the south southwest with gusts 30 to 45 miles per hour. A shift in the winds Saturday afternoon to the northwest expected and we'll still see some gusty winds with that. So the main impact here is going to be nuisance flooding, street flooding or poor drainage flooding areas that are typically prone in moderate to heavy rain events. You're likely to see some flooding. We'll have to watch for some isolated thunderstorms thunderstorms and the possibility of some isolated wind damage, but I don't expect it to be widespread at this point. 58 degrees your commute this morning, dry roadways, smooth sail and weather wise at least. We're into the uh, low and mid 60s along the coastline. Winds will be off the water today out of the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So a little bit warmer the farther inland that you go where we'll be between 65 and 70 for this first day of November. Clouds breaking for some peaks of sunshine in the afternoon. Coolest along the coastline a little bit milder the further inland that you go. Mainly cloudy skies, a mild evening on the way. We stay in the middle 50s. In fact, temperatures tonight climb back into the lower 60s after midnight and those showers attempting to move in. So here we are at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning with that area of low pressure and a front just draped across eastern uh, coastline. This is 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. That area of low pressure and front still trying to push off the coast. As it does, it takes the steady rain with it. And again, Saturday evening, Saturday night, you got plans to be out and about. It's looking much improved. Seven day forecast from 67 today to the upper 60s tomorrow, waking up in the 60s again on Saturday. Cooler air starts to move in behind that storm. So by Saturday night, we're back into the upper 30s and a sunny Sunday highs in the mid 50s. Full forecast online WP.